Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm here at my home in the Appalachian Mountains to show you a fascinating plant that you can find year round. And it's especially cool to see in the winter when it's all gray and brown like this before anything has even started in the spring. The plant is called Downy Rattlesnake Plantain. It's actually an orchid and I'll tell you how it got its name, so stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So it's March 4th here in Southwest Virginia. Pretty much winter still here in the mountains at about 2,700 feet in the Appalachian Mountains. What I love about this plant, what I love about rattlesnake plantain, is it such a brilliant plant to see even in the middle of the winter. Its leaves stay this bright green all winter long. And it's such a joy to see on these gray winter days where there's nothing flowering. There's really no green to be seen except on the evergreen trees themselves. Species of rattlesnake plantain, which is not actually a plantain at all, nor does it cure rattlesnake bites, can be found across North America and even to the south in many places. The species that we have here in Virginia is called downy rattlesnake plantain, and its scientific name is Gudiera pubens. And there's another species found in the western part of the country called Gudiera oblongifolia. According to Native American lore, this plant was used to cure snake bites amongst other medicinal uses they had for it because its leaves supposedly looked like the modeling of a rattlesnake skin. The plant is distinctive not only because it's evergreen in the winter, because no other plant has these distinctive white venation in this pattern that it has. And I think it's the most beautiful leaf of all the woodland wildflowers that we have in North America. It's really spectacular to see. It is actually an orchid and it will flower later in the year, usually in June and July. And I photographed one last year on June 19th that was in flower. It's fascinating to know that this plant is actually a true orchid. And like other orchids, for it to grow, not only does it have to have proper soil conditions, but it has to have a certain kind of mycorrhizal fungi that intertwines with its roots. The fungus helps the plant uptake moisture and nutrients, and in turn, the plant shares some of its photosynthesis with the fungus. In this way, it's a symbiotic relationship called mutualism and a partnership where both species benefit from the relationship. Like other orchids, this plant produces thousands and thousands of dust-like seeds. They don't have any nutrition in them, and that's why they're so tiny and lightweight compared to other seeds. And for them to sprout again, they have to combine with this particular kind of mycorrhizal fungi, which will jumpstart them into a point where they can start doing photosynthesis on their own. These plants are often found in groups because they reproduce vegetatively by a stolen spreading across the ground. So this is the flower from a plant that grew here the previous year, but it's gone now. But it reproduced itself by a stolen, and this is the next plant that will grow from here. This plant will grow through the summer, and then probably next spring flower, just as this one did last year. Here on my land, I'll actually cage some of these plants because the deer really love them. And I read that in places where the deer population is high, the population of this plant is very low. Deer make an enormous impact on our native flowers when their population grows beyond normal boundaries. Rattlesnake plantain was the 2016 plant of the year for the Virginia Native Plant Society. Remember, never dig these plants in the wild. They're just too sensitive, too limited in numbers, and they need that very specific fungus for them to grow. You can readily pick this up at a lot of native plant nurseries. So if you want to plant some in your garden, get some from the native plant nurseries. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Nature at Your Door and learned some new things about rattlesnake plantain. And I hope you can go out, summer or winter, 
let's see if you can find this plant species. When you see it, I guarantee you'll know it and you'll recognize it. I'm looking forward to spring woodland wildflowers. Please check out my spring woodland wildflower playlist. I've covered extensively many, many of the species that you'll find across the eastern United States. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.